To His Forsaken Mistress by Sir Robert Ayton. Read for LibriVox.org by David Barnes. I do confess thou art smooth and fair, and I might have gone near to love thee had I not found the slightest prayer that lip could move had power to move thee. But I can let thee now alone as worthy to be loved by none. I do confess thou art sweet, yet find thee such an unthrift of thy sweets. Thy favours are but like the wind, which kisseth everything it meets, and since thou canst with more than one, thou art worthy to be kissed by none. The morning rose that untouched stands, Armed with her briars, how sweet she smells! But plucked and strained through ruder hands, Her sweets no longer with her dwells, But scent and beauty both are gone, And leaves fall from her one by one. Such fate ere long will thee be tied, When thou hast handled been a while, with sear flowers to be thrown aside, and I shall sigh when some will smile to see thy love to every one hath brought thee to be loved by none. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.